Hi everyone, it's been a while since I last made a video. Um, mainly because I sometimes feel I'm going over the same old ground. Um, and having ME doesn't exactly make your life exciting. Um, but the last few months have been a little strange in that I've had quite a... I've had probably three periods in the last three months um, that have been quite good. One lasting nearly a week and the other just lasting a few days. And every time, of course, something like this happens, try as you might, you, you try not to get your hopes up. But inevitably you do. Um, I know that ME is... Um, an illness that can go and even people who are severely affected can get better or even though it's a rarity and so every time you see some improvement there's it's almost impossible not to hope for the best um, the best period I had in the last three months um, I was getting to that point where I was thinking great I can get back on with my life again although if you looked at what activity I was still able to do it was actually um, extremely limited compared with what I was able to do before I did manage to drive one one day um, which in itself was an achievement um, but uh, inevitably it, I gradually deteriorated again and um, ended up crashing but but then I've had then it would be like that for a few days and then I would have a couple of days where I was reasonably well not completely functioning properly but reasonable and, and I guess when I say reasonable what I'm talking about is that my gait has improved had improved um, it does give me hope because it means that whatever's happened in my nervous system isn't necessarily permanent, but there is that possibility of a recovery some point along the line. But these false recoveries, or these almost recoveries, they're great because you can do things that you couldn't normally do, but there's always that great disappointment when they finally finish. Now where I am at the moment is I'm still able to get out and about a little. Um, mainly if I go in the car with my wife. I We got a dog back in November and, and up until about a week ago I was managing to take him out for a fairly short walk most days. Um, but that's not happening anymore um, and I've had to halve the very short walk I was doing when I can do it and I might manage it a couple of times a week but with great um, difficulty and and paying the price a bit afterwards um, um, although I'm still not bed bound fortunately I'm still able to get up get well washed get dressed and I know Many of you out there aren't even able to do as much as that. So I'm fortunate. Um, the last few days I've started to get something which I don't normally have a huge problem with and that is pain. Um, I have to admit I've been again fortunate that pain hasn't been a problem because I know how badly it affects some of you, but I've been getting a lot of muscle pain in my thighs, in my joints, in my hands. When I say it's it's a lot, it's not unbearable, but it's a constant pain. It doesn't stop. And then there's the, the constant tingling in various parts of my body, my hands, my feet, my legs. and sensation of burning and that just doesn't really 
give in. Although again, I, I usually have my clonazepam at night and it's enough to knock me out and I get probably, again, I'm fortunate, I get probably six, five to six hours a night, which can be broken, but it's generally reasonable. Um, so yeah, that's where things are at at the moment. The involuntary movements have calmed slightly, but again, I have, it varies, some days it's really bad. At the moment it's quite good. My cognitive problems have been so-so, and I have been able to read a bit, but even then, I'm. <laughs> you, you, what you can do one day isn't the same as what you can do the next, and then you keep pushing because you think you should be able to, and then you make yourself worse, and it's just an ongoing thing. Um, still really have no medical care, really. It's pointless seeing the doctor. There's very little they can do anyhow apart from prescribed medication but then I look at the medication for pain the medication for involuntary movements and then I look at the side effects and and having tried some things and found the side effects to be bad I think perhaps I'm better just managing the best I can without all of that um, although I'm starting to think it could become a problem because this year the government is really cracking down on people who are on benefits and if you haven't got lots of doctor's records you could find yourself in a I could find without having a lot see my doctor regularly maybe that could go against me but you know for the, for the sake of being made to feel that big and for the fact that there's little that he can do apart from nothing really advice or give me drugs that make me perhaps feel far worse than I do there's little point in going so I, I continue um, still manage to keep my spirits up and do things but it's limited um, it's life as I know it at the moment but I consider myself extremely f fortunate when I see how some people with this illness suffer um, I'm so pleased that I've not had to endure a darkened room or being stuck in bed for days or weeks or months on end I've not had that but still the the the, the suffering the, the, the trying to continue day after day and keeping hopeful is still a constant struggle I would put it that way but anyhow as I usually say I've probably spoken for long enough for now um, I will try to make a video again sometime in the future but probably they'll be less often than, than they have been in the past um, because I don't want to just keep going over but I'll make one just every now and again to say hi and this is how things are so that's me and no doubt I'll speak to you sometime in the future bye for now